Welcome back, True Seeker. A lot of people want to know about Game 3 of the World Series, the longest game in World Series history. It went to the 18th inning. There were 18 combined hits between the two teams. Dodgers had 11. Red Sox had 7. And the game-winning hit was a walk-off home run, which was in the 61st team at bat for the Dodgers. If you're a baseball fan, you know that Roger Maris hit 61 home runs in the year 61. And there's this big relationship with the number 61 and 18, like 18 innings and 18 hits. you got to know the language of Gematria. If you come here to Gematria.com, it'll load up four ciphers. The most pure of those ciphers is this one right here. And in that cipher, baseball sums to 18. 61 is the 18th prime number. In Gematria, if you go to Tools, Number Properties, and you punch in a number and click Get Properties, it'll tell you about that number. Window's a little small here, but the properties is 61. It's a prime number. It's the 18th. So how perfect for a walk-off home run in the 18th inning in the 61st at bat. Now here's the other thing. I want to load up all four base ciphers. I just want to clue you into Gematria a little bit more, and I want to type in the word baseball again. These are our four ciphers based on the alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, the reverse alphabetic order, and the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. Very simple. This is second grade math right here. Anyone can do it. This dark green cipher, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, up to Z is 26. Notice baseball equals 54, like 54 complete outs in a game. Notice the 162. That's just when you make Z1 and you count back to A is 26. There's 162 games in the Major League Baseball season. Then another 54. If you type in uh, Major League Baseball with the alphabetic order, it's also 162. Notice the 117. <clears throat> there were 11 hits to 7 hits last night in favor of the Dodgers. Dodgers got that 117 thing going. And do you remember who hit the game winner last night? It was number 13. If you write out 13, it sums to 117. That's a big number in LA. LA equals 13. LA also sums to 41, which is the 13th prime. So, very scripted baseball is. It's why I've called the World Series every year from spring training since I started doing this research. I haven't always called both teams. This year I got one of two teams right. This year I said the Dodgers would be in it for the National League as they are. I knew that because the season began on the 88th day of the year. The Dodgers haven't been in the World Series since 88. They won it on October 20th, 88, which was the 293rd day of the year. This season began on 29-3, March 29th, the 88th day of the year. I have Major League up here because I want you to see that it sums to 108. It's like how I guaranteed the Cubs would break the 108-year drought in spring training the year that they did. Notice the Red Sox. They won 108 games this year. And what else? They had 54 losses. Very baseball numbers. And it was all by numerical ritual as we covered. Boston Red Sox have this gematria of 154. Remember, they tied their win record in their 154th game. Then they got their 106th win, breaking their record from 106 years earlier, which was the same year that they faced the Dodgers in the World Series. Boston Red Sox 154. The old baseball schedule was 154 games in tribute to Abner Doubleday, the Freemason credited with uh, the spark of American baseball. All the American sports are credited to Freemasons. Notice Double Day is also 89. All of these games are starting at 8.09 Eastern Time. Notice uh, Los Angeles Dodgers has that gematria of 89. 89. We're getting a lot of 8.09 starts. Los Angeles, California, if I'm not mistaken, is also 89. And it is. So anyway, learn Gematria, see through rig sports. Baseball is a really easy example to introduce people to. The Red Sox last night had 57 team at bats. World Series has that Gematria 57. Remember the Dodgers advanced on Alex Cora's birthday. Alex Cora used to play for the Dodgers and the Red Sox, just like Dave Roberts, all part of the perfect script. So a lot of people asking, hey, what's up with the 18 innings? Here's one last point. 
This game was October 26, 2018, a date with 47 numerology. Big number with time. This was the longest game in World Series history. Time has Gematria 47, also 61. And it ended with that 61st hit, the walk-off home run, the 18th prime. First Dodgers walk-off home run since they won the World Series in 88. You know, 88's a number symbolic of time. And in 88, there's four circles. Think about it. Eight is two circles. 88's four circles. Each circle has 360 degrees. 360 times four is 1,440 degrees of measurement in the 88 circles. There's 1,440 minutes in a day. Time. That's why they uh, travel in Back to the Future at 88 miles per hour. And by the way, that game was in California last night, which is 88 with uh, the alphabetic order. Today's game is going to be um, on the day leaving 65 days left in the year. We'll see how numerological it gets today. So, If you want more sports information, I put out this uh, information last night on my Patreon. Patreon's where you get all the sports picks every Saturday. We do NFL live decodes as a team. There's a lot of brilliant minds getting good at Gematria there. We're picking the vast majority of NFL games right every single week. Come be part of the team. $5 a month gets you all of the sports content, which is a whole lot for $5. You can't find a value like that anywhere else, especially if you're the gambling type. So uh, we'll leave it there, Truth Seeker. They don't have out the starters for today's game because of what happened in last night's game. So it's hard for me to do my uh, decode for game four because I need the starting pitchers. But um, you just pay attention. You learn the code. You see how these rituals go. So We'll leave it there. Until next time.